solid Mustang here and uh, this is my first one of these so but we're gonna give this a shot this is my 2012 Dodge Charger uh, it's an SXT which means the 3.6 liter V6 and by far this is my favorite car I've ever owned by far um, it's a great car if you're looking for a car looking for a four-door this is the car you need to get um, I'm not too happy we're coming up to the back end here with uh, the 2015 and how they rounded it out because this has got a great aggressive look so this it's really a nice car and uh, sun's finally just starting to pop out so uh, we get a uh, get to actually look at the car shine it's been raining all day that's why the car's wet and had a little break in the action but I absolutely love this car and the reason I decided to do this is because my lease is up so I'm not sure what kind of financial stuff going on so I thought we'd sit here and we talk about it uh, give you a little review if you're looking for a good car um, 2012 to 2014 Dodge Charger I love the color aggressive looks this car I think the torch red or this is the tricoat red is a great color um, so great uh, mobility it really handles really well and in the snow we had a real rough winter one nice thing is back seats are huge you can get back here and the other nice thing is look how wide the door opens and some of you are like yeah what's the difference well put a kid back here you know I have a nieces and nephews I don't have a child of my own but I see a lot of doors they open about this far now you're trying to get into the door well you have all this extra space you can actually get in here so we'll get in the back seat here talk about the back seat but you can see yeah I can really stretch out here and uh, I'm five foot ten so I'm kind of average size but if you were taller you know somebody taller sitting in the front seat you got plenty of room now this is where I sit I don't sit too close to the, the front so pretty handy and easy to get in and uh, my mother and mother-in-law both aren't the most mobile of people and they can get in and out of that car very very easy so that's also something else to think about uh, the other thing to think about is this car feels like a muscle car it really does the Dodge Charger really feels like a muscle car so it's kind of your family muscle car so and really I don't think anything else comes up I know the uh, Chevy SS but it looks like a Ford Taurus to me, or a Camry, or an Accord. It looks like everything else. This doesn't. You know, nice thing. Huge trunk. So nice, big, spacious. You can see all my cleaning stuff. Trunk. Fit two golf clubs in there easy. No problem. Um, this is the uh, control thing. You don't have to touch the car either to get in and out. We'll go ahead and lock it. I'll show you this. This is a fun feature. So we've locked it. You heard the beep. Come up. You want to get in? That's it. Notice I did not get my keys out. And I'll do the same thing. We'll lock it. Just hit this little button. It's locked. Good car. Great car. Let me rephrase that. Great car. So for 30000 new, a little under, and probably get one now for like twenty-five. This car has 25,000 miles on it. You probably get it for about $25,000, this exact car. And if you have that opportunity, if you're looking for a four-door car, this is the one to get. This is it. So she's a great car. So let's get inside. I'll show you some other things inside. Because the fun doesn't just stop on the outside. Like I said, handles great. Even in the snow, handles great. The traction control is fantastic. Will not let you spin around. So we get in here. Now it has a remote start ability, but we're not going to do that. You have a button. See, keys are still in the pocket here. Keys are back here in the pocket. Step on the brake. Kicks right over. Big 8.5 inch touchscreen. Real easy to see. I mean, you can read it. You're basically sitting here with me. And we're going to turn it down. So you can do that. So if you want to change channels, these are the FM channels I got. You got your different things you can do satellite am um, this button right here 
goes your CD player, goes into uh, your MP3 player, or flash drive. So, and this is my wife's favorite feature right here. It's got a little bit of a glare coming off here. Let's see if we can get rid of that here for you. There we go. A little better anyway. But you see it right down here. Heated seats. My wife will not go anywhere without a heated seat. Climate control is excellent. You can sync up or you can uh, do each other. The phone. Easiest thing to sync up. You saw it just actually just come up. Just synced right up to my phone. It's easy to do. All you got to do is hit the button, go through the, tells you step by step, easy peasy. So, settings. One thing fun, on a satellite, once you go in here, one, you can replay anything that's already been playing. It's a nice XM satellite, but also you can save your favorites. So, if you go into, and you go in here, favorite songs, favorite artists, if you want to save some artists. Uh, I'm an 80s guy. Hey, that's when I was born. Don't judge. So, uh, I have all kinds of things, and I can see my niece was in it because I just saw Katy Perry. Uh, but you can you can have all kinds of stuff in here. So, um, on the phone, comes up. You can call whoever. You can put your top five. You can call whoever you want. All you gotta do is touch it, and that's it. Cruise control, real easy. Turn it on, hit set. That's it. Hands free, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel right here. So I can make my phone call. I can tell my radio or whatever to do what I want. If I want to tell it to tune in to XM1, it works pretty well. The phone one definitely works better. Volume up and downs in the back. Uh, you can change channels, whatever the case may be. Etc. Etc. Um, so you got plenty of outlets here. You got one here. I'll show you something else. I've taken the uh, thing out. There's actually something that will sit here. I took that out so we can see. Down in here, you have another outlet. And I put some stuff in here just to show you how big this is. But you can see here, this is my flash drive. So you can put a flash drive in there, play music. Here's your auxiliary for your MP3 player. Uh, power outlet right here so you got lots of room it's a big spacious cabin and it's just a great car you can go cruising you can have some fun um, sounds great still sounds like a muscle car in here so even with the 8 speed automatic yeah. I mean for a V6 that's a nice rumble the 8-speed automatic does take a little getting used to. So you have to hold it, kind of hold it in and drop it. You kind of get a mechanical feel, but not much. So, but once you get used to it, it's real easy. Um, really a great car. I cannot say enough about this car. Um, you, it's kind of hard to see there. But I'm getting close to 26. I actually just got stopped in traffic. Like I said, it was raining. There was an accident. Um, I have been consistently around the 27 mile per gallon mark, which is for four door, large four door car is excellent. Um, it's a smooth ride. We're going through actually kind of a bumpy parking lot. Um, I'm intentionally going over some bumps and you can tell it's a really smooth ride. Here comes some, some big pothole bumps. I don't have my seatbelt on. I mean, these are big pothole jumps. Now, if there wasn't somebody learning how to drive, I'd go through those cones to maneuverability, but we won't do that to them because that wouldn't be very nice. Somebody's trying to learn how to drive. So, but it's just a wonderful car. And with the lease being up, I don't know what's going to happen next. So I thought we'd uh, spend some time here with the 2012 Charger. Uh, great car. Cannot say enough about it. If you're looking for a car, this is the best car for the money. You can get a nav system if you want, add it on. Uh, your rear seats can be heated. Uh, you saw the uh, cup holders here. You can actually get heated and cooled, heated and cooled cup holders. Uh, a couple options I didn't have. And the other option was a sunroof. I don't have the sunroof. But other than that, uh, loaded up, pretty well loaded up SXT. And like I said, you can cruise to Virginia from Ohio. That's where I'm at. Or 
you know, you can cruise around town in this car. Either way, this car does great. So, that's my recommendation. If you're looking for a great used car, look for a 2012 Dodge Charger. Uh, I got my car at Liberty in New Albany, Ohio. If you're looking around, you're more welcome to uh, go that route. If not, uh, if you live farther away than that, then uh, best of luck on your search. So hopefully this helps you. If uh, This definitely be a best buy. And I have a lot of guys who come up to me and say, wow, what a good looking car. Uh, I actually drove to a car show and where the car show people thought I was actually going to be in the car show. Uh, <laughs> so if you're looking for that, something fun, um, this is the place to be. And it's in this 2012 Dodge Charger. And uh, we're going to see. I'm going to see by keeping it or, you know, whatever transpires money-wise. That's always a contributing factor. But it's a great car. And if this is what kind of car you're looking for, something for a family car. First car, maybe. There is one thing I would like to add. If I, if I could add one thing, it's a backup camera. So if you can get a backup camera, shows up on the 8.5 uh, in screen. That's a great add-on. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's still, it's not bad. I mean, you can still see very well out of this car being a four-door. So if you're looking for a car under 30000 you should probably get them down maybe even to the 20000 depending on mileage. You know, this is a great car to get. So hopefully it helps everybody. Hopefully the uh, video didn't bounce around too much, me using this... Uh, this phone's not my favorite thing to record on. So, but hopefully you enjoy it. Have a good day.